how to draft a basic bodies pattern these are the measurements i'll be working with from the tip of the paper i've drawn the guideline that i need and the width of this paper is my boss second friend divide by two and this is my center back and this is my center front so this is the midpoint dividing both the front and the back pattern in mark the front length measurement from the center back to the center front connect the lines reason being so that i can get the back length using the front length as a guide so 14.5 is the back length measurement mark it from the midpoint to the center back line i've marked out the back length measurement so this is the shoulder line marking half of the shoulder which is 7.5 the shoulder slope for the back is one inch and the neck width is three inches so mark out the three inches and connect it to the one inch neck depth to get the chest line divide the both circumference by six plus one point five and mark it from the one inch you mark out at the shoulder slope just the way it is in this part so this is my 7.5 to get the straight line connecting both the back to the front move the taper up to the edge i have 8.5 mark this point five from the center back to the center front and connect the lines together On the chest line, mark half of the shoulder measurements. My is 7.5 and connect it to the shoulder slope. On the straight line, get the midpoint. I got 7.5 divided by 2. That's 3.75 going by. 0 0.5 and connect it to the shoulder slope mark out the bus circumference divide by four on the chest line and connect that point to where you mark in the 0 0.5 connect the 0 0.5 to the post measurement you go dividing it by 4 using the arm o curve this curve i'm using is a multipurpose curve so i can get the arm curve from the multipurpose curve on the waistline mark the waist measurement divide by 4 plus one inch that and the back tightening is 0 0.75 connected to the bust measurement on the chest line On the waistline, mark half of the boss point. My is 3.5 on both. On the 3.5 mark, I'm sharing 0 0.5 on both sides. On the chest line, mark 3.5 and come down by 1 inches and, con and connect it to the dart point. At the center back line, mark in 0 0.75, which is for the back tightening, and connect it 
to the midpoint of the chest line. Mark the neck depth of one inches at the center back and connect it to the neck width of three inches we mark earlier on. Use the cuff part to connect the three inches neck width to the neck depth. So this is the final pattern for the bag. Kindly like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channels. I'm Lichi Fashion. Moving on to the front pattern on the shoulder line. Now mark half of the shoulder measurement, which is 7.5. Mark some measurement on the chest line, 7.5 and connect it together. Mark the neck width of 3 inches. Shoulder slope for the front is 1.5. Why the 1.5 is because the front shoulder is more slopey. So mark your 1.5 as the shoulder slope for the front and connect it to the 3 inches neck width. So for you that want to ask questions, yes, it works for all body measurements. Mark the neck depth of 3 inches and connect it to the neck width. Take note of the curve placement. It's very important when you are drafting your basic body's pattern. Take note of it. On the chest line, where you have the half of the shoulder measurement, mark 3 inches upwards and go in by 0 0.75. Connect the 0 0.75 to the shoulder slope. On the chest line, mark the bust circumference divided by 4 and connect it to the 0 0.75 using the arm O curve. So you connect it this way. Use the one that is curved inside, that's the arm O curve, to connect it. On the waistline, divide your waist circumference by 4 and add 1 inch as the dart allowance. Connect it to the chest line where you have the bust measurement divided by 4. Connect it together. Measure the shoulder to boss point so the shoulder to boss point i'm working with is 10 inches and mark it to the mid point line
on the waistline mark half of the bust point which is 3.5 the measurement i'm working with and share half inch on both sides on the bust point line mark the 3.5 come down by one inches and connect it to the dart point mark out the difference between the front and the back measurements for this i have 1.5 you can take the measurement from the shoulder line to confirm the difference between the front and the back the front length is 16 inches while the back length is 14.5 so the difference is 1.5 so that would be the side that measurement so my is 1.5 yours can be 2 inches so it's in between 1.5 to 2 inches mark it at the bust point line mark it downwards and connect it to the bust point measurement on the bust point line all right so i'm done drafting both the front and the back pattern this is the front and this is the back so thanks for watching kindly subscribe to my youtube channel see you in the next class bye